Get ready, go. Today we, we made takgangjang, <laughs> sweet and crunchy crunchy chicken. 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 Yeah. Hi, I'm Eric Kim, the senior editor here at Food 52. I'm joined today by Mang Chi. She has that viral YouTube channel where she cooks Korean food. I've been watching her for years. She taught me how to cook Korean food when I was in college, and today we're going to make fried chicken. Thank you for having me, Eric. Let's talk about your book first. Um, Mang Chi just came out with a new book. It's called Mang Chi's Big Book of Korean Cooking. It's bigger, bolder, better. Tell us, a, tell us a little bit about it. Ever since I published my first cookbook, this book is just uh, I knew that what my readers, the people who want to learn Korean cooking for the first time, what they need ingredients. So ingredient grocery list just in the front. Yeah. It's super helpful. I just love all the special ingredients that you know now are available at H Mart's all over the United States. What I really love though is that your recipes you measure everything for people. So for Korean food, um, the way my mom cooks, it's very like just a pinch of that, a this of that, and so when I try to ask her for a recipe, she, she can't really tell me what it is. I have to be there with her. But you have translated it in this book on your YouTube videos, the teaspoon amount, the tablespoon amount, because you want it to be the same for everyone. Right? I used to be like your mom <laughs> before I started the you know YouTube video. Yeah. I just don't know, no Korean housewife you know measuring one teaspoon. You know, because we make a large pot of soup, who is going to you know, do this? <laughs> Sometimes I make this for whole family. Yeah. Yes, just uh, today's soup is a little saltier than before. <laughs> just uh, please understand. You know, mom say that, okay? <laughs> Nobody complain about this, that's it. But to make a recipe and different yeah. story, yeah. I need to show them. So sometimes I make you know kimchi, okay? This amount of garlic, how many garlic? One, two, three, <laughs> and then okay, nine cloves of garlic. Yeah. So I jot down nine cloves of garlic. I made it this way, yeah. yeah the, when I make a recipe. Yeah. Well, today we're gonna make sweet, crunchy fried chicken. Yeah. It's called tak kang chong. Mm -hmm. This recipe is. Just the one uh, most popular recipe of all my recipe. It's one of my cookbook, new cookbook recipe too. It's called tak gangjeong. Tak gangjeong means that gangjeong is like a candy. So sweet and crunchy, crunchy chicken. <laughs> That's tak <a> gangjeong. <laughs> Let's get started, right? Oh yeah. Besides, this food fifty two. They so clever. They just asked me, oh, what about side dish for chicken? So even my own website, I didn't, at that time, I didn't think about this. So this is going to be, you guys have two recipes. And one is this side dish, it's, a, you know, the chicken mu in Korean. So in English, pickled radish. So to make this chicken mu, we're going to use Korean radish. And even though for this recipe, you could use a daikon radish or another kind of radish at your store, if you can find the Korean one, this is what Manchi likes to use. How is this different than regular radish? Shape is different. This is Korean radish. I chose a small one. This is around one and a half a pound, but sometimes like three pounds. And this Korean radish is plump. Yeah, they're fatter. <laughs> plump, just like me. <laughs> and also yeah. taste is uh, uh, sweet and sweet. very juicy and crunchy, crispy. Yeah. Less bitter than... And then the right. but if you this is not available, daikon is good. Daikon is good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you want me so to peel you can, this? Yeah, you can peel this. I I want to measure one pound only. Yeah. Okay. You know it has a really thin skin. Mm. It's thinner than you know regular radish. So this is <laughs> how's oh, that? Did done. I do okay. So I want to uh, measure one oh, pound. Yeah. This amount. You get it. You usually get it right on the first try. I right? see. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I cut this one one third inch. One third inch, we gotta make cubes, little tiny cubes. If this is too small, this is not the kind of, you know, not good. If this is too big, nobody like that. I always get two of them mm. when I'm at like a Korean fried chicken place, because it's my favorite thing to eat. This one, also you, when you cut this, just one third inch old. So we make the cubes. Yeah. Like this. Perfect. And you want to cut? Sure. Mm. 
when I learned, you know, chopping, when I was at element, you keep doing. <laughs> <laughs> When I was in <laughs> elementary school, maybe four or fifth grade, and first time I wanted to make matchsticks. Can you imagine matchsticks in a small child? Because it looks so cool for me. My mom and my grandmother, and cha -cha 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 -cha, so easy. And then one day, nobody's uh, in, in the house. So I, that's the good time for me, because nobody tell me, give me a hard time to use a you know, knife. And we, I did it, and I tried to cut the matchstick. <gasps> I cut, and then all oh, bloody. That's why my mom hated when I uh, played mm. with the knife. She hated that I was learning to cook. Because they worry She's that what if you knife, get yeah. you know, some hurt. Yeah, yeah. So now, that's almost done. So this sauce is a sweet, sour, a little salty. So sweetness comes from sugar. This is one third cup, eh? one third okay. cup sugar. <laughs> and this is a white vinegar, so one third cup plus one tablespoon. Any salt? One tablespoon. Great. Okay. Thank you. Using kosher salt here. And then Stir mix it together. together. Okay. Yeah. Until it dissolves. Mm -hmm. I love this chicken moo because it's called, it's like named after what you're supposed to eat it with. Moo means that radish in Korean. Chicken is a chicken. <laughs> but the chicken moo is a, chicken is a, everybody knows it, Korean people. So chicken moo is a chicken, you know, it's a moo. So this is, you mix this well. This is a sweet and sour and a little salty. And this is three quarter cup water, three quarter cup, and mix it together. Right. That's so easy. Mm. That's it. Okay. That's that. Yeah. Okay. And then we gotta add this. You should follow the exact accurate just ratio. Okay, see? <laughs> you just keep this in the refrigerator. First cover and keep in the refrigerator. Or you can transfer to you know glass jar and just cover and refrigerate. At least three hours it should be marinated like this. Next, chicken. This is two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds are just really nice. Good quality, looking really <laughs> beautiful color. I She's love so that. <laughs> She said she liked the bowls, so yeah. we're gonna give her some. <laughs> yeah. And oh, it's the gloves. Yeah, gloves that I can the wear. Korean dirty mom job gloves. I would do. Dirty <laughs> okay. job. Okay. The Korean mom. Yeah, gloves. and then your mom is not gonna be angry. <laughs> what? Mangchi just made gave you know dirty job to my son. <laughs> you can just put this. Okay. And then <laughs> actually, you know, at home I use my bare hand. You know, and yeah. then after that I wash my hands. But here is that not easy to you know. Yeah. So this is you know quarter teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon salt, and ground black pepper quarter teaspoon. And we have wings and drumsticks here. Yeah, it's like a drumette, drumette. and wingette. I always throw away the tips. Yeah. Because Why do you do that? Because Korean people do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know that. Yeah. Right? I don't so, know why though. Because the chicken, the tip is always like this, the chicken. Right? <laughs> so you know, when you get older, you are going to your body is going to be like this. So my mom, my grandmother, is always throw away the part, oh. cut off. Yeah. But my readers, some of my readers, oh, manchi, we gotta <laughs> eat this. <laughs> and then we are going to add potato starch. Why do you Have, use potato starch? Oh, the potato starch makes it crunchy. Half a cup and zip, and then you okay. just mix it well, cook evenly. And then the uh, we just uh, heat up this you know oil. This is around you know two inch deep kind of oil. Just while my oil is now heating, it takes time. So let's make a sauce. This thing add three tablespoon soy sauce yeah. and two tablespoon sugar. Mm. So it has to be sweet. It's like a candy. And then we're gonna make this very crunchy and shiny. Usually I use rice syrup, but here this is corn syrup. So you can use a corn syrup, half a cup. I always wonder why you use these plastic red ones. 
Very light. light. I yeah. really hate the heavy stuff. My mom's like that too. I buy her these fancy, like, mm. you know, cast iron skillets mm. and Le Creuset, and she like never uses them because they're too heavy. Mm. That's right. Why well, your mom and me <laughs> can be good friends. Yeah, probably. Introduce me. You like light things. I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, two teaspoons, you know, vinegar, just a little bit sour taste, but mm. you will never recognize it. And this is my kind of own kind of secret. Oh. I use this yellow mustard, so not any more secret. So this is yellow mustard. Two teaspoons and mix. Just yellow mustard when I make this coating sauce and like to give me subtle, subtle herby flavor. I love yellow mustard. Mm. Everyone talks about Dijon, but I don't know, yellow's where it's at for me. Yeah. I never have a jar of Dijon in my fridge. Okay. okay. Very glossy. See? It's beautiful. This oil is now 340 Fahrenheit. Okay, let's put it here. Ooh, mm. That's a good sound. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are frying gorgeously. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just a half of chicken, we added this. So I'm going to make two batches. And then, uh, then just uh, after that, later we can double fry. Mm. Mm. That's the secret. Yeah. We gotta wait uh, just a little bit uh, until the well, temperature fine. reaches uh, 340 or 50. You can ask me why why this is uh, it looks crunchy, but why we have to double fry? Yeah, why do we have to double fry even though it seems so crunchy? <laughs> 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 yeah, it looks really crunchy, yeah. but sooner or later it goes soggy. Why? Uh -huh. There's uh, when we take it out, this uh, inside is uh, still really hot steam. Oh. Steam is the skin is just all pressed down this, yeah. and then the steam is you know there is no way to get out of there you know from the skin chicken, then the skin is absorbed to the skin so that it's going to be soggy. So this is a, you know Korean fried chicken. I even though it looks very crunchy, I don't get deceived. You know I know so I I'm gonna do again. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing genius yeah, yeah. genius tip. <laughs> I live alone so I. I never really make fried chicken for myself. You go to probably chicken place, eh? Yeah, I do. I have a favorite place in Atlanta. Mm. Every time I go home, my mom and I make, we, we buy KFC, mm. Korean fried chicken. So, Eri, let's make sauces. And this is small dried red chili pepper. Mm. I use eight. And this is one teaspoon ginger. And then three large garlic cloves. So, I'm going to smash this, guys. Great. Yeah. <laughs> it's catharsis. <laughs> catharsis. Yeah. All my stress, stress is gone. Nice. Yeah. I'm just mincing this. Is it hot? I don't know. It should be very hot. It's pretty hot. Mm, it's hot? smoking. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So about two tablespoons cooking oil and garlic and ginger. And stir this. Whoa, smoky. <laughs> so make it more smoky. <laughs> this is the sauce we made. I'm gonna, we're gonna add this. Mm. So you can just let it boil until okay. bubbling. You saw that like bubbling. After bubbling, just around 30 seconds after, stop cooking. And then that's it. So the reason I make the sauce first is that the later it should be everything should be hot and chicken should be hot sauce should be hot boom it's a mixing 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 easily you know coat it easily so 12 minutes passed second batch so he's taking out mm. nice oh that skin is nice bubbling. nice yeah that's the water you're talking about i think mm -hmm. in this skin yeah so this is the second batch and then we are, we, are, we are going to wait just one minute and until this oil is just heat up again to 340 Fahrenheit. So Eric, you see, this is like, it, it looked really, really crunchy. Yeah. But see, you can touch this. Yeah, it is yeah, soggy already. Yeah. yeah, so we need a double fry. This time a good thing is that I use all this chicken 
Yes, I'm not going to split this in one batch, one batch anymore because it's already first fry well done. So I will just add all this here. And 10 to 12 minutes, we just keep frying, that's it. This is Bakkangjeong. I learned in the 1990s from oh. when I lived in Missouri. Uh, Missouri with my family at the time. Yeah. And then one of my friends, we had some padlock party. She brought the Bakkangjeong. She's living, she came from the different region from you know, from I used, where yeah. I used to live. And then she showed me, we ta I tasted this chicken, oh my God, I couldn't believe. I had to learn. So this is my kind of dakgangjeong that yeah. from, I learned from her. Wow, looks good, eh? Yeah, it's great. Wow. Did you prepare some beer for us? <laughs> <laughs> Eric? Yes. You see? Yeah. When I see that, it is crack here. Oh. Crack here, you almost you see the bones. Yeah. That means very, very crunchy. Wow. And so this is time to you know finish cooking. So we just cook this uh, 10 minutes now, but everybody's uh, home, this uh, stove temperature is different. So 10 to 12 minutes, uh, second fry, you guys, you guys have to cook. So this is the kind of a signal. So you that's see the a, crack here. Yeah, that's okay. a great tip. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> and then? Toss. Oh. Okay, you toss. Okay. And then I forgot to pick peanuts. We gotta add the peanuts. Okay. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> Where is it? Just so this is one third cup the peanuts. This is my sliding spoon and I put this one. Just carefully, carefully dip it here. Oh. Yeah. Oops. So you will see the color change to more white. You see? Maybe around 10, 20 seconds. Wow. To make it more crunchy. Yeah. So I will just add here. Great. One third cup. Mmm, it smells so good. Mm. And you want a spicy? Yeah. So this is, uh, I really, my favorite, this is chili flakes. So it depends on how much you like spicy food. Okay, stop cooking. Okay, we're done. Mm. And then oh, put it here. Oh, it's so good. Okay. It's so heavy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your mom will be angry. <laughs> I make you work hard. No, she loves you. <laughs> okay. Oh my, so good. And toasted sesame seeds. Yay. That's it. <laughs> Yay. Together, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. One more time, together. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you for. They're inviting me. Yeah. yeah. So let's do cheers. Eh? Okay, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. I got it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Here you go. Mm. We forgot the radish <laughs> pickles. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. With us. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'm yeah. so excited to <laughs> have this chicken. Thank you. Okay, cheers. cheers. Chicken. Mm, so Have some chicken. I will, yes. Okay. Mm. Mm, crunchy. Mm. Crunchy, crunchy. Mm. <laughs> Food 52 staff are hungry now. <laughs> we gotta share this. <laughs> mm.